Tailscale is a peer-to-peer -peer VPN, and unlike a traditional VPN server where all traffic is routed through one server computer, devices in your Tailscale network, however, can directly communicate with each other, so it's a lot faster. This is so much more convenient and so much more easier to set up since Tailscale handles all of the WireGuard configuration. You don't even need a public IP address. I recommend authenticating with a well-protected Google account, it'll be so much more secure. So to install this, head over to tailscale.com, the link will be in the description, and then click on download at the top right. And here you can see all the operating systems that are supported. And for Linux, it's just one simple install command. For Windows and Mac, it'll just be a file, and on iOS and Android, it'll just be an app in the App Store. It's pretty simple to install, so I'm just going to demonstrate installing this on my Raspberry Pi. So I'm just going to open up a terminal and SSH into my Raspberry Pi. Alright, now that I'm here, I'm going to paste the command that I just copied. And it will automatically install everything for you. Now that the installation is complete, we can log in. And we don't have an account yet, but we can set that up now. So I'm just going to run this command. And copy this link. Now I'm just going to click sign in with Google. And now I've successfully added my device to the Tailskill network. Now I'm going to do the same thing on my phone by downloading the app and logging in with the same Google account. Now I've successfully logged in on my phone and I can see it from here. There are two devices now, my Google Pixel and my Raspberry Pi. When you log in for the first time on your browser, you'll see a quick survey like this. But now you can see your tail scale administration panel. So one thing I do with any of my server computers, I just click on the three dots and disable key expiry so that I never have to re-authenticate them. It's highly unlikely that one of my server computers gets stolen, but for the rest of your devices like your phones and computers, you shouldn't do that. Now, just to test out this connection, I'm going to run a test docker container, which will host a web page, and I'll use the IP address of this Raspberry Pi. Now to connect to it, since I'm running the web server on port 80, I won't have to put in any port, I'll just have to put in this IP address. And this is what I'm going to type in to access the page. So now I'm able to access my Raspberry Pi through the Tailscale network. So no matter where my devices are, it will be as if they're on the same network at all times. And that's just super convenient. If you have multiple people that want to join your Tailscale network, you can go over to the user section and add them over here. But on the free plan, you can only have a total of three users. But I just have most of my devices under one user, so I don't really have a problem with that. Now, another really cool thing about Tailscale is when I'm connected to the Tailscale network, I'll be able to connect to any of these devices just with their host name. And if you don't want to change the host name of the device, but you still want to access it with another name, you can always edit it from here. See, like my phone just shows Google Pixel 9a, but I can change that by clicking on the three dots and edit machine name. I'll disable this, and I can just set the name to this, and I'll be able to communicate with my phone with Madhu phone whenever I'm on the Tailscale network and it's called Magic DNS. Tailscale has a bunch of features, and you can see them all in the link in the description below. One of them is called Taildrop, and it acts as an airdrop alternative, and you can share files with any of the devices on your Tailscale network or your Tailnet. Another feature that I've used when traveling is called the Exit Node, and it basically acts as a proxy, and it just routes all of your internet traffic through one of your devices on your Tailscale network. And this is what most people think the main purpose of a VPN is anyways. But you can set any of your computers as an exit node. And then on your phone or another device, you can set that computer as an exit node. And then it will basically be as if you're using the internet from that device. Another useful feature that they have is the Tailscale Funnel. And this is basically just a reverse proxy. And you can quickly share any of your services that you're running on your computer with one command. And I'll show it on screen. But if you want to host something for long term, I would recommend using Cloudflare Zero Trust. But for Cloudflare, there is more to set up. This is just an easier alternative if you want to share something temporarily. It'll produce a link like this and anybody will be able to access it with HTTPS. So those are some of the notable features from their website. But I recommend just checking out this page because they have a ton of features on here. I just went through three of them. There's honestly so much to explore, and the way I have it set up now is my domain points to one of my devices on my tailnet, and that device is running Nginx Proxy Manager. And since my domain is pointed to my Tailscale IP address, only devices inside that Tailscale network can access that domain. So I've connected all of my services to that domain, 
and I can access all of them with HTTPS. It's honestly super interesting. And the way I did that is with this tutorial. I'll leave the link in the card and in the description. The way he intended it was only for devices in your local home network. But if you just replace your local IP address with your Tailscale IP address, you'll be able to use that domain anywhere in the world. And it will be way more secure than exposing it to the public internet. Anyways, that is what my setup looks like, but I just want to make a quick tutorial on how to set up Tailscale. And if this worked for you, please leave a like and subscribe. And if you ran into any issues, leave them down in the comments below, and I'll try to respond as fast as possible. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.